Now youth time. All right. As you might guess, I've been a little distracted this week. But I'm sitting here thinking about youth time, and I'm thinking, who had a chance to work with their mother or father as they were growing up in the, in the whatever the work was of the mother and father? Did anybody get a chance to work with your parents? Larry, Ron, what kind of stuff did you do? Farming. Farming? Build a house. Build a house. Kinsey? Cars. Work on cars. <laughs> wow. Exciting. Tom? Sales. Yeah, salesman. salesman? Sales? Anybody else? I drove the tractor for my stepdad. You drove a tractor for your stepdad. How old were you? Uh, well, I was over 10. Over 10. Anybody else? Same as others. Farming. Farming? Work on the farm? Donna Jean? Helping in the house, too. So what did you learn from your parents? What kind of things did you learn? Hard work? Talk back to Dad. <laughs> Larry has a story to tell. Don't talk back to Dad. Kinsey. <laughs> Don't wear a white dress when you're changing the oil. Tom? Uh, know whatever you're selling and uh, have, a, have a pleasant spirit. Dad always liked love to have coffee and talk with his, uh, his people as he rode around Ohio and Indiana. <laughs> now, did you hear the first part of what he said? Know your, know your materials, that's a given. But the second part, he, Tom said, have a pleasant spirit. Now, that goes... Every, everybody else, every place else, have a pleasant spirit. That's going to make a difference in anything you do. Um, my dad, as soon as we could walk or get in the way, he would drag us along to whatever job or whatever we could do. And, and uh, I, uh, several times I can remember being the one doing the wheelbarrow full of mud and those wheelbarrows had one wheel. Our wheelbarrows here have two wheels. What happens when you take a wheelbarrow for mud with one wheel? Yeah, it goes, and you've just lost a whole wheelbarrow. I did that several times. And the guys kind of resented me for, for being stuck with me, you know. My dad would say, go do that, and I'd have to do it. But I was the youngest boy. Yeah, youngest boy, next to the youngest. But we always got involved. And, and what made me think of this, if, I don't know if you got the newsletter online. Lorraine, if you want one, there's back there on the table. Um, there's a picture in the newsletter of Mark Bankson and his nephew, Sam. And they came and helped here Friday, thir Friday Thursday, whatever day it was. These days are all mixed together. And they just got in right in the thick of everything. They're just, in the picture, they're just covered in dirt. But the, same, the smile on Sam's face in that picture, even though it was hard work and, and he got to work with his uncle, he had a great time, and he got a lot done. You know, and, and they, they both were just pleased to be able to serve God and help us in this project. And, and Mark had to take off work. And he, he just on his own, he just said, I'm going to take off and come and help. And he, he just called his nephew and said, hey, what are you doing? Come and help. And uh, they just showed up. And, but that's doing things together is character building. It helps us, helps us grow in fellowship with others, and uh, it's just a blessing for them to come and be with us, for us to share with them. And in life, anytime you can invite someone to, 
to help you or work with you in whatever project you're working on. Maybe it's quilting or maybe it's cooking or, or mowing the grass. Anytime you can do something with somebody else, it doubles the character building. It doubles the relationship to do it together. And that's what my dad always did. We, the grandkids and I always make the cookies for your... Kairos. Thank you. Oh, Kinsey, thank you. <laughs> it's always better to do things together. It's good family time. Good family time. And it doesn't have to be relation. It could be your neighbor. Invite your neighbor to come and share in a blessing. And it is a blessing to do things together. And in this case, to help the church. That's all I got.